हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू येट अनदर ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ए वेरी बिग थैंक यू फॉर 1000 सब्सक्राइबर्स यू गाइस डोंट नो बट यू गाइस आर द बेस ऑफ दिस चैनल द वेरी फाउंडेशन ऑन व्हिच वी विल ग्रो टुगेदर ओके सो फर्दर आई डू लेट्स बिगिन दिस वीडियो सो हैज इट एवर हैपेंड टू यू यू आर वर्किंग ऑन सम इंपॉर्टेंट स्टफ एंड बूम यू सी अ ब्लू स्क्रीन ऑफ डेथ you are sure to panic in such a case the screen goes blue with the famous window smiley the sad smiley right but don't worry now your wife is here with this blue screen of death video so i will divide the video into three parts so in the first part i will tell you what are the first steps that you need to take after you experience a blue screen of death in your computer in the second part i will talk about what actions can you perform with your windows in order to fix a blue screen of death and in the third part uh, i will tell you how to protect yourself from a blue screen of death if you need information on a particular topic then i will provide the time stamps on this video and you can readily jump to your required time stamp as per your convenience so let's begin with the first part of the video that is first steps after a blue screen The first thing you can possibly do after you see a blue screen of death is note down the error code that is displayed. This is the first thing that you need to do because this will help you a lot in understanding the issue that you are that your computer is facing. Next, please try to remember if you did something right before you saw the blue screen of death. Were you playing a game or just viewing a document? Were you watching a video or were you in an office call? The answer can be pretty much be there in what you were doing. before you saw the blue screen of death so the second step that you can perform is check the temperature of your pc if it is hotter than usual then you may have some ventilation issues a dusty pc can have a considerable impact on the temperature of your computer and if the temperature rises above a certain level then the whole computer crashes and therefore you see a blue screen of death so after you see the blue screen of death your pc will restart try to monitor the cpu temperature and check for any anomalies at that time in the next step try turning on the pc after removing any peripheral devices that you had connected for example a hard disk pen drive hard disk pen drive it may be usb camera microphone headphone etc etc and then try to Uh, turn on the computer after removing all these things because sometimes what happens a faulty peripheral device can trigger a blue screen of death all right now suppose that your pc does not restart automatically basically a pc will restart automatically after a blue screen of death in case it does not restart automatically then what you have to do you have to wait a few minutes then you have just you just have to force shut down the computer by long pressing the power button then you have to turn it back on if your pc is running again then that's quite good but here are a few fundas that you can use to find the cause of the blue screen of death so before going forward we may have a scenario suppose that your pc restarted very fast for a quick moment you saw the blue screen of death and the uh, pc restarted now what happens at this time it is uh, very difficult to note down the error code right because the error code will help us to deduce the solution right so what you need to do in this case you have to disable the automatic restart so i will tell you how to do it first of all right click on computer go to properties go to advanced system settings under the start and restore you have an option to uncheck the box next to perform automatic restart you just have to uncheck this box now if the blue screen of death appears once again then you can easily note down the error message but you have to force shut down the computer after that suppose that you see the blue screen of death only once but don't think that the pc is safe it's still advisable to determine the cause of the error in order to prevent further damage to your computer luckily what happens is that windows creates mini dump files in event of system error suppose a system error occurs the uh, windows will automatically create some mini dump files but uh, you, we cannot access these files directly we need a separate software like blue screen view i will uh, put the link of the software in the description below you can check it out from there so you have the error code now with this information the next thing that you can do is just google the error code and it will give you most of the information that you need in order to determine the error code what caused it and all and how can you solve it in the next screen here are some of the most common error messages with their cause 
If you have encountered a blue screen of death, then please let me know in the comment section along with the error code and I will try my best to make a separate video on that. So this ends the first part of the video. In the next part, let's talk about the solutions. So you can try a number of solutions which is uh, integrated inside Windows itself. You don't need to install any other third party software or something like that. So let me walk you through all these. So the first thing that you can do is try running the computer in safe mode. You try to reboot your PC and boom, multiple blue skin of deaths every time you try to restart the PC. In such a case, you have to try running the PC in safe mode. In order to run the PC in safe mode, hold down the F8 key uh, while turning on the computer and switch to safe mode before the window logo appears. Okay, so you have to do it before the window logo appears. So what happens in safe mode is that it enables windows only to load those processes and drivers that are absolutely necessary for your PC. There is another way to enter safe mode as well. That is if your computer is turning on successfully, then what you can do is uh, press the windows button or in the search bar you can just type msconfig it will be popping on the screen right now you can type it then right click on the search result and run it as administrator click on run as administrator in the system configuration window under start and activate the safe mode then confirm it okay windows will then start in safe mode the next thing that you can possibly do is check and repair the system files. So what happens? Internal problems can definitely cause a blue skin of death. Luckily, we can fix most of the internal uh, errors right there in Windows itself. Uh, there are certain built-in tools in Windows which can help us fix these errors. For this, what we have to do, we have to open command prompt, press the Windows key, type CMD, right click and click on run as administrator. Now enter the command which I am entering that is SFC space forward slash question mark and press enter. So here we will see some example commands now. To begin it is recommended to run SFC space forward slash scan now for a complete scan. So this complete scan may last from 30 minutes to 1 hour or even more than that depending on your PC configuration. So the next thing that you can possibly do is start windows in the last functioning configuration. Windows can remember when it last ran without an error and reactivate this version if necessary. To do this we have to shut down the PC and then press F8 while restarting it. Among the options uh, there will be an option called last known good configuration. Just select the uh, option and start the computer. Luckily if there was a saved configuration your PC will boot up and uh, suppose that you do not see any blue skin of death then likely the blue skin of death was caused by some driver malfunctioning and so on. The next thing that you can do if nothing helps a fresh reinstallation of Windows is the only thing that you have left with you. Hold the F8 key as your computer is booting up and then select repair computer. Here you will find the option to restore your system. If you have a Windows installation disk you can do a fresh format of your computer as well. Uh, nowadays uh, you can just load the Windows ISO in a USB drive and insert it in the computer and then open boot menu as per your computer specification or configuration and then you can do a fresh format this is the last resort if nothing works now let's come to the third part of the video that is how to protect yourself from the blue screen of death unluckily there is no way to completely protect a pc from encountering a blue screen of death because internal errors can occur even with zero fault from the user a faulty update can also be a cause for a blue screen of death so we can do nothing about it right However, I got you covered with a few strategies that will reduce chances of a blue skin of death occurrence and protect your important data. The first thing that you can do is create backups of all your important data. The easiest and the most quickest way to do this is using the inbuilt backup and restore tool that comes with Windows. The second thing that you can do to protect your computer from a blue skin of death is to keep your Windows updated. Every single update that comes, you just have to update the computer and Windows will take care of the rest. In very very rare cases, a faulty update may cause a blue skin of death but it will get fixed very soon so not to worry about that the next thing that you can do is use a good and reputed antivirus software to protect your PC this would definitely help to keep your PC free from viruses malware and so on so the last tip that I would like to give is keep your PC clean 
and dust free if your pc is dust free it will definitely be well ventilated check if all the fans are running smoothly as this should keep the pc from overheating and boost its life as well so that's it about the video guys i hope you liked the video if you have any queries do drop it in the comment section and i will try my best to answer it also if your pc is encountering a blue skin of death please let me know in the comments with the error code so that i can try making a video about it so thank you very much guys thank you very much once again for 1000 subscribers this is saurav signing off goodbye take care